Okie dokie, I need to remember two videos ago is the one I need to put up next. Just a reminder to myself. Anyways, here is, uh, somewhere, I just saw the lights there, the, there's the police officer. There was the car crash right here. Ooh, look at that, that's rough. That got really messed up. Look at these roads and these bridges, like they're just nuts. Alright folks, when you're on the mountain roads, just because the speed limit says 70 miles an hour does not mean that you have to get up to 70 when you're going down a grade 6 or grade 5 hill. When you're going down a steep hill... 7-Eleven! No way, Jose! What? 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven. We got those all over in Wisconsin. Yeah, but it's been a long time since I've seen one. Really? Oh, yes. look, a green bug. That's adorable. You see since that? Since we uh, moved from Colorado... Oh my gosh, this road! Hills and hills and hills and hills. That's all this Maryland. The state of Maryland can keep its hills. Oh my gosh. Okay. If any of you watching this video live in Maryland, let me just say I am deeply sorry you have to deal with this. This is insane. And I feel bad for your cars. My goodness. Anyways. That car crash, I don't know what caused it. I didn't see it happen. I don't know nothing. I know nothing. But, just so you guys know, it's okay to not do the full speed limit. And especially when you're going down steep hills. Super, super important. Drive safely. That you have control of your vehicle. It is not important that you maximize speed because that's just stupid in some cases. So, it's okay when you're going up the hill, definitely go ahead, try to get up to speed. Get up to the speed limit. That's good, going uphill. It's harder to get to the speed limit going up these hills. But when you're going down, it's okay, do 50. Take your time, get down the hill safely. Because as you're going down these hills, you'll find that it'll start to flatten out a little bit and then all of a sudden it'll just suddenly drop again like these hills are insane insane fortunately I'm an experienced driver and so I could handle it just fine but I would not recommend these I would not recommend these roads to uh, new drivers at all so anyways this is a this is a fun drive I'm not gonna lie here we are, going down another steep hill. I'm on the brakes a little bit. Doesn't maybe look like it because we're still going fast, but they're keeping us from going faster. Ah, there we go. See down here it'll flatten out and then it's gonna go up just a hair right here and then it's probably going down again. I don't even know anymore, man. <laughs> it's so lost. Also, y'all, we're in Maryland. That was never on the itinerary. And we've been in Maryland for a while, so we're like way into Maryland. That's crazy. We're supposed to be going to Pennsylvania, but I, I guess Maryland is under Pennsylvania, and I don't, or south of, I guess is the more appropriate way to say that. <laughs> but we're uh, trying to go north into Pennsylvania, I think, or something like that. I oh, don't know, man. I just set my, uh, set my ways up and go. I don't know where it's taking me. I'm just following the pretty purple line. Anyway, uh, so I just thought I'd share a few little tips about driving on these ridiculous roads. Oh my gosh! What? You didn't see that pop can? Oh, that's well, a cop. I didn't know what it was. I seen it. I didn't know what it was. That was a pop can or a beer can or something. It just came flying over and hit the side of the vehicle. Or the wheel. I think it hit the wheel. Whatever it was, it hit something. I heard it hit. Huh? And then it just bounced back into the grass. But... 
as dangerous as these roads are and as crazy as they are, they are definitely beautiful. The, the terrain around here is just insanely gorgeous. I will definitely say that. Maryland is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Would I want to live here? No. Not having to drive on these roads, I wouldn't. <laughs> But if there's like a city or town nearby with better roads where I could just come out here to like occasionally hike or go camping or something, that would be cool. I could do that. But I would not want to have to travel these every day. Although I suppose you get used to it when you live in a place like this. It just becomes the norm for you. That's how life works. So, there's my two cents. Almost six minute video. <laughs> nice. All right. Have a wonderful day, folks. Until, no, not until. Keep having a wonderful day. Don't ever let it stop being wonderful.